Pillar of the community, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I think? I think that on every Twitch logo, her face should be there. Like, the internet should make them a thing. Like, associate the Twitch brand with that Pokemon. Like, if you're a Twitch streamer, you shouldn't be able to escape association with that individual, which now Twitch lifts up above the common mortal, above the community. And elevates them to the status of trust and safety council. The proverbial council of uh, wise men, like Plato used to call them. I'm sure there's no conflict of interest, though. I'm sure that putting a person that's on Twitch in order to have the ability to ban others from Twitch isn't going to be used to, I don't know, create a protection racket or to ban competitors or upstarting Twitch streamers that might take away from those who... Nah, nah, nah. Clearly, it's going to be used to enforce policy in a just manner, where everyone is subjected to the same rules and there is no differentiation there. Yeah, I saw this boomer making a video about it. Haven't watched it yet, though, because I don't want to uh, get some of his ideas influence this video. But, like, Twitch was always progressive. And believe it or not, like, the main issue with Twitch isn't that it's progressive. Because everything is progressive nowadays. The main issue that I have with Twitch is that it's a protection racket for a couple. Like, if you know people from the moderator team, if you have the correct connections, you can get away with everything. Like, for example, you can paint your tits on Twitch, even though it's against the community guidelines. But you can get banned... If you're a neckbeard guy, calling it out and pointing it out that, look, if a woman paints her tits, that's a violation of the TOS. He gets banned, she gets to stay. That is literally the problem with Twitch. It's not like, okay, I'm, I'm like a snake. I'm like the water. I'm like a leaf in the wind. Like, whatever your community guidelines are, I can make sure that I follow every single one of them. But what I can't do is follow community guidelines and see other people breaking them and becoming more popular. Because most of the community guidelines, believe it or not, are against edginess, and they're against what's actually entertaining. So if you manage to be the type of person that can break the guidelines, that can do the things you're not allowed to do and be edgy, well, you're going to get more subscribers, you're going to get more views, and you're going to get more donations. In other words, if you're someone like Alinity, and you show a nipple on the stream for everyone to see, you get a slap on the wrist. If you're some unknown upstarter that doesn't have connections, you can get your account permanently banned. That's how it works on Twitch. You know what's really funny though and amusing? I remember back in the 90s when every single person in the gaming community wanted one thing from the internet. Just one. A button which you could press that would cause a hand to come out from the monitor and slap the other person from the other side of the internet. That was like in a high demand. If any scientist would have invented that and you could like install a patch that when you press a button, a hand comes out of the button and smacks the other person, it would have been a bestseller back then. Nowadays, even though like no one wants it, it's artificially created that, oh, we need to create a safe space. Like somehow you're going to get more people watching and more people engaged if it's sanitized. Like let's bring mommy and daddy to stand behind the person's shoulder to make sure he doesn't have a potty mouth, to make sure he doesn't say anything edgy. And of course this has the opposite effect because if you think about it, why do people watch F1? Why do people like to watch racing? The ones that I spoke with, believe it or not, like to watch it because of the car crashes. Like at least they're honest about it. Imagine if someone at F1 would say, yeah, we decided not to show the car crashes anymore because of ethical concerns. I mean, it's not ethical to show human suffering anymore. So we're going to censor every time there's an accident. Do you think there's going to be more people or less watching the F1 if they did that? Because that's literally the same what they are doing in the gaming industry right now. Like I remember back in the day when uh, watching a couple of esports, <clears throat> which were uncensored, it was very entertaining to watch, especially if you watch the fighting game community, to see 
a person just pick up the uh, controller and try to whack the person next to him. That was very entertaining. I like watching that. I would even give super chats if I see that. Ah, but it's not moral. Oh, oh yes. The bastion of morality needs to be found when you play video games. I remember when I was playing soccer as a kid in uh, the schoolyard, or I was playing it uh, in the neighborhood. Do you think uh, there was a lot of morality there? No, it was filled with cursing and potty mouse and banter. Do you think kids would still play if the mothers were there? You know, if every time you go to play soccer, you'd have like the mother committee next to you, watching how you play. It's like, Billy, watch your language. You know, of course no one would play. Of course it would completely kill. Like people would just go and play something else. Yeah, so this is why I completely disagree with this. It's not requested by the community. No one absolutely wanted to, 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 to have this. No one wants more censorship. And it's not even to push a progressive agenda or anything like that. It's just to create more of the same protection racket. In other words, if you know that little reindeer, you can get away with a lot of things. <clears throat> if you don't know her and you're not connected to her and her friends, you can get punished for even the smallest slights. It's how the terms of service operate on a communist platform. Rules for thee, but not for me. No, I just... I'm just not cool with white supremacy, y'all. It's really not that... I think a lot of you gamers are actually white supremacists. Sorry. Just a fact. And he saw corruption everywhere, except within... We are reaching levels of pay pigginess that shouldn't be thought possible. Imagine if a cop would say that. Imagine if a cop would say, no, I got nothing against black people. I just don't like gangster culture and I just think a lot of you blacks are... Can, can you imagine like how fast that guy would get fired? But no, imagine a world where that guy doesn't get fired. He gets to police a black neighborhood and he gets placed in a position of power where he gets to decide if other cops do actual policing properly or not. It, you know, this is why they banned the clown meme, because I don't even need to comment on this. It would just be like, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> and it's self-explanatory. Yeah, imagine having so much disdain towards the people that actually give you money. Imagine hating the people that pay for you so much that this is how you think. It, 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 you know, like, no wonder these people see you as a necessary evil. Like, you are necessary because you still pay for them to put food on the table, but you're an evil. I don't think I have seen anyone in the industry hate the customer so much, like social justice activists do this in gaming, in the entertainment industry with movies and TV shows. And then they wonder like, why do gamers hate it when they see social justice dog whistles? Because it remembers them of people like this. No wonder this is the ideology of everything is political because these people do not know the difference between privacy and public. You want to do that shit? Do them in your own bedroom. Don't do it on freaking online. My God, if anyone outside of California now would see that video, they would never offer you a job at anything ever. It, it, it is just beyond cringe. Like, no business would want to associate themselves with that. Like, you are so lucky. And you should pray every single day. You should find Jesus or Muhammad or whomever you want and just pray that Twitch never goes bankrupt. Because with that, it's going to be very difficult. You're going to find a job everywhere again. Holy shit, can you imagine if a video like that came up with Donald Trump? You know, like Donald Trump is sitting there with a little bit of a reindeer on his head and, you know, his, his wife is scratching him and he goes like, ah! Ah, like, what do you think the public would say? I mean, you know, I, I get it. It's not harmful or anything like it's ridiculous. It is cringe. It is something that is personal and you should keep it to yourself. Jesus, you know, um, and, and this has nothing to do with social justice, by the way. Like, the, the, I know people that are into social justice and are not at that level. Like, that that is just... Uh, I, I, imagine, though, if you would have, like, a gaming community and you'd have, like, the Christians taking over. And, and they would start, you know, I guess if setting up terms of service and enforcing them based on Christianity. Like, okay, you curse once, you get banned. You play video games with magic, you get banned. It's like, it, people wouldn't like it. Like, people do not agree with I, your ideology. I am now ashamed on streaming on Twitch because I would get associated with that. 
I just want to distance myself from that as much as possible. You know, just how she thinks that uh, all gamers are white supremacists. Yeah, I'm starting to think that all the people working at Twitch are mentally insane. 